Vindication episode 16 coming this weekend. Guys, I ran into a snag, so it will not be posted today. It will be posted either Saturday or Sunday, so just bear with me. It's coming this weekend. Stay tuned for it. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We have some brand new WWE action figure news, and I was going to have a surgery posted today, but I guess that'll be tomorrow or the next day. We'll have to see about that. Vindication finishing up as well, so it will not be posted today, as you guys saw in the announcement. But today, we have some brand new news for you guys, and it is about a new takeover line. You guys remember the WWE fan takeover line, the Elite line, with Adam Cole, Seth Rollins, who else was in the set? Randy Orton, Shayna Baszler. We had Johnny Gargano in that set. You guys know the fan vote series that WWE.com posts where all the fans can vote even though we don't really agree with you know every single fan voting because the people don't the, the people that end up voting on the thing don't even collect the figures they need to bring it to the real collectors who are voting on this series but that's besides the point let's get into the new wave guys we have a brand new wave and it is going to be the same concept but this time it is going to be ultimate edition so WWE fan takeover ultimate edition launching at amazon.com next summer bringing it up for you guys you will see the first figure up is going to be Jeff Hardy, one of my favorite all-time wrestlers. Jeff Hardy here in the three different attires by Mattel coming to Amazon.com. So I guess this new takeover line, at least for the Ultimate Editions, will be available at Amazon.com, which is really, really cool. I'm down for this. I think that's awesome. I think that the Rock Ultimate Edition is already Amazon exclusive, so we're, we're going to see that continue here with the Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition. I think this is pretty cool to let the fans vote on an Ultimate Edition, but let's get into the Jeff Hardy attires that they're going to be giving to us and bring Break it down for you guys, let you guys know exactly what I am going to vote for, what I'm thinking about voting for, and then I have the link in the description. We have like 24 to 48 hours, I think, to vote, so if you're just now seeing this as soon as you know the notification, don't worry, we still have time to vote, so you can vote after you watch the video here, so I will have a link in the description for you guys to go vote, but right here, we do have the three options, so the first option that we have, guys, is going to be SmackDown, December 19th, 2008. This is obviously iconic. This is Jeff Hardy's WWE Championship Celebration night. I think he ended up either, he either defended the title against Vladimir in the main event or he, he had a match with him on this night on SmackDown, but this is a very iconic attire. You know, I, I personally do like this attire a lot. I like the, you know, all three of them, all three attires have the black tank top. All three of them have the 2008-ish, you know, 2009-ish Jeff Hardy attire where it was, you know, your regular tank top, white armbands, black armbands, some sort of multicolor with a multicolor belt is pretty much what he was rocking around this time. I mean, he's kind of rocked that for his entire career. But first up, I do like this attire. Hopefully, if they were given it to us, which is kind of odd to me because if this is Ultimate Edition, you're going to think it's going to be a bunch of different head sculpts. We're going to get two or three different head sculpts. We're going to get interchangeable armbands. So are they going to give us like white and green and black with like the white on top and then interchangeable black over the top or lime green over the top? And is it going to come with his necklace? Is it going to come with the same head sculpt and face paint with three different expressions, which is what I'm expecting. If they're going to do it like this, I'm guessing, you know, a signature yelling Jeff Hart maybe a serious face, maybe a paint rubbed off face is what I'm guessing as well. So I think that would be a really cool concept. But the first one is this. You know, I like this attire. I definitely like this attire. I like this face paint. I like the red hair color and everything like that. And you get the WWE Spinner Championship, which is really awesome. But I don't I don't know if this is going to be my favorite one. I'm not exactly sure. At the end of the day, I want all three of these attires in my collection. So that is just something to cover. But this is a nice attire. You guys can let me know what you think of that one down in the comment section below. We also have WWE Armageddon 2008. Now this one is I feel like I'm leaning more towards this one or the last pick, but this one's very nice. I love this face paint, personally. It's very near and dear to my heart because he won the WWE Championship on this night in the Triple Threat match at Armageddon, and this is huge. I actually even have a Spinner Championship autographed by Jeff Hardy, and so this is a very iconic moment for me. I love this face paint. I like this attire, and it's very, it's kind of crazy because this face paint is very similar to his entrance greats figure. Like, it is very similar. It's got the lime greenish color. It's got the, you know, the black lines on on it, but Jeff Hardy's face paints, there there are some that are similar and things of that nature, but I think if you put the WWE Championship with this, you had the interchangeable head sculpts, you have the hair, you have everything completed there. In Ultimate Edition, double jointed arms, man, I mean, good God, this this is sick, nasty farticles. I am super excited for the Armageddon 2008. This is probably the one I'm more leaning towards, this one or the last one, like I said, but this is a really great attire, really great moment. I'm, I'm really trying to imagine what they're going to do for interchangeable arms, because they always give us interchangeable arms. I'm not sure 
again, like I said, if they're going to give us like different armbands over the top, like so you can make different attires, I'm not sure exactly what they're thinking on that. But an Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy, nonetheless, is going to be fantastic. That is our second option, WWE Armageddon. Again, I like this one more than the SmackDown Celebration attire, but I like both. I definitely like both. And then the last one that we have, guys, is going to be WrestleMania 25. This is his iconic match with his brother, Matt Hardy. This one is beautiful as well. We've never had this attire e ever. You know, we've never had a basic and elite. We've never had the other ones either, but you could say that the SmackDown one is very similar to his interchangeable elite, what was that, Elite 71 head sculpt. It was very similar, similar face paint, similar kind of job there. And then the one in the middle is kind of similar to Interest Grace. I'm not saying it's the exact same, but it is kind of similar. And then this one is completely different, even though I guess you could say that it's kind of similar to his SummerSlam basic with the purple, black, and white. This is a different era of Hardy. This is this is not a current Hardy, so this is a throwback Hardy from WrestleMania 25 with the purple belt. You still have your lime green, white, and black sleeves. Beautiful necklace. I hope the necklace comes with whichever one we get. Um, I'm guessing if you, do, if you do this figure and you do the Armageddon one, you're going to have to put paint on the neck, which will be interesting. I'm interested to see the tattoos on this guy as well. I want to see, you know, the different tattoo detail, if it'll be the same decals we got on his entrance grace figure, if it'll be any different. But this is a beautiful attire as well. Again, I'm guessing they're going to have a yelling head sculpt, a serious head sculpt, and then a head sculpt where it's like mid-match or at the end of the match. But this is, uh, I, I like all three of them, man. All three options, you can't go wrong. I wouldn't be disappointed with either of them, but if I were leaning towards one, it would definitely be Armageddon 08 or WrestleMania 25. But I don't care which one we get. I'm going to be happy with them. As far as casting my vote, I don't know. I'll probably vote a few times for the Armageddon and WrestleMania 25. I don't know if there's a limit on how many times you can vote. So I'll probably put in a vote for Armageddon and WrestleMania 25, but I'm not sure. We'll just have to see how that, how the cookie crumbles, how that all goes down. But let me know down below, guys, which one you would prefer. Uh, this is very awesome considering we're getting a fan takeover Ultimate Edition. If it's Jeff Hardy, does he count as the, I'm guessing he counts as the legend in the set, right? If he's going to be a part of the next Ultimate Edition, then who is going to be the counterpart to that? Is it going to be a women's figure in like Sasha Banks or Bailey, Or is it going to be a, you know, a current men's figure? Maybe a Roman Reigns? Maybe a Seth Rollins? Is it going to be, you know, a bigger legend than that? Or an older wrestler than that? Like Randy Orton or, or somebody like that? I don't know. We'll have to see about all of that, but I am down for any Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardys. I'm down for a lot of different Ultimate Editions. A lot of guys that they could do. Maybe they'll pair them with Ric Flair, like the one that we were supposed to get. We ended up not getting it, but I don't know. We'll have to see about that. Maybe a Stone Cold Steve Austin. But not only that, guys, Ringside Collectibles actually posted up that Elite Series 82 is confirmed. We confirmed this uh, yesterday, actually, so it looks like they uh, went ahead and confirmed it themselves so that, you know, the, 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 we, we nailed it. We nailed the full set. We got Finn Balor, John Morrison, Rob Gronkowski, Jared the King Lawler, Alexa Bliss, and Keith Lee. We nailed this in yesterday's video, so it proves that we did know what the hell we were talking about around here, so that is pretty good news. I don't really, I don't think I've ever really reported something that's ever been just completely off unless it was subject to change, and I always say that, you know, things are subject to change anyway, so you never fully know, but it seems that our our source yesterday was confirmed and that they did a fantastic job there, but this is a great set. Again, Keith Lee is the chase variant in this set, and then uh, Davy Boy Smith is the exclusive figure, and I think it's going to be exclusive to Walmart. I could be wrong about that. It could be Target. It's going to be one of the other. I look forward to that, but pretty cool set here. Can't wait to see Finn Balor. It does say, er, in the picture, it does have him pissed off with the NXT title. Super hyped for that. Hopefully, it's a new bearded. Still waiting on my tapered, faded beard head sculpt. Pissed off Finn Balor. Still waiting on that. Hopefully, that is what we get with that in that Elite 82 Finn Balor. Can't wait to see what we get from that. I think we have like a Ringside Fest or a New York Toy Fair or so something's coming up. I know a toy show or something's coming up very soon, so hopefully, we'll get all those figures on display. But not only did they put that up, guys, they also put Top Series or WWE Series Top Picks 2021 in the uh, upper pre order over there. If you guys want to pre order these, we don't know what the figures look like, but if you want to go put a pre order in, use promo code MD Toys to do so. You got Strowman, Reigns, Cena, and The Rock. Very, very weak set right here, man. This is this is a very weak top pick set. You know, you don't have a Rey Mysterio with a cool mask. You don't have Rollins. The only one that I would consider probably picking up is going to be Roman Reigns, unless they make this Braun Strowman bald. That is probably going to be where you get a lot of people, but we'll have to see about that. They may not even know what the figures look like just yet. They just have the set confirmed, but uh, the Roman Reigns is probably the only one that I would consider purchasing, depending on how the head sculpt looks. Is it going to be pissed off? Is it going to look good? 
We'll have to see. Maybe it has the faded ponytail and the nice beard. We'll have to see. You guys know how I am about my, my nice faded tapered and beard sides there. I gotta have that nicely done. So we'll see about that. They also put up the WrestleMania 37 Elites for pre-order. Of course, we already know what this full set looks like. We saw them all back at San Diego Comic-Con at home. Blue Universal Champion Goldberg. You got the WrestleMania 22 Edge. You got the China figure. And you also have the Shawn Michaels there. So all of these look good. I think it is a full set buy for me. Gonna buy these at retail when I see them. So that, that is epic. Can't wait to get into those. But if you guys want to pre-order the WrestleMania 37 Elites, the top series picks, WWE 2021 figures, or Elite 82, they're all up for pre-order. The only one that I'd probably pre-order from Elite 82, I'd probably pre-order Keith Lee, Ben Balor, John Morrison, and that's probably it from that set. You also got Gronk in there. Can't miss out on the precious Gronk, but if you guys want to pre-order any of those figures, definitely go do so over at Ringside Collectibles, as well as go over into the link in the description so that you can go ahead and vote on the Jeff Hardy Ultimate Ultimate Edition, selects which one you want, and get in on all these pre-orders. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Again, Vindication coming soon this weekend. Very hyped for the show. Got a lot of good stuff planned for that thing. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Going to be epic. Going to be epic sauce. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.